There is a pretty cool trick on how you can do like those really far views like from just your neighborhood to the horizon without the need of downloading a million tiles. So what we want to do is uh, we create our first layer. I choose being area right here and I probably set that to a thousand by a thousand. There we go. I'm going to remove this for now. Um, and we want to have a second layer. Also Bing Arial, which is let's say 6,000 by 6,000. I'm also going to um, shy this one. And I'm going to link it, second one, to my first one. Right. I'm back on the first one. I go to, I don't know, let's say London. Oh, what just happened? My second layer is on top. So there we go. That one to do. I parent my second layer to the first one, could make them 3D to show you what I want to do. Rotate this like that, probably put it a bit down right here. And on finalizing, I would like finalize the first one with a 70%, which is quite cool quality. I would finalize the second one which is now 6,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels, I would finalize it with about 20% probably, because otherwise it would download so much tiles. So that's 60 right now. That's probably a bit less, but it's okay for the explanation right here. So there we go. That's, that's cool for like the horizon view right here. That's that's all good. And to have like I mean you yeah, you don't really actually see the edges, but to make that a bit smoother, um you could like add a mask. Um go to the feather, put up the feather to one hundred pixels and put the expansion to minus fifty and now we get like a smooth transition between the good detailed and the bad detailed map layer. Um, just remember that you need to have a worse quality on the big one and the better quality on the small one. So you can still, if you're going to first layer, you can still scroll around. Everything is like pinned together. Pretty cool. And this is how you can do like very far views without using millions of tiles. By the way, due to performance, you can actually just use 2,500 tiles per map layer.